Okay, so in the world, there are things that you think will just go away, but apparently they just never do. These include, but are not limited to, war in the Middle East, that rash that you got from that girl who insisted that you were her first time, and freak-ass oil spills on the Gulf of Mexico. So as the world has already heard, there are 500,000 to 800,000 gallons of oil being pumped into the Gulf of Mexico every day. Kind of old news at this point. And at first, the word was, people, please, just calm down and just take a breath. Now, I know this whole oil spill business has some people a little worried. I mean, trust me, I would be too. You know what I mean? And it's the ecosystem in a little bit of danger. Eh. But I promise you, it's not a danger that can't be avoided. And trust me, measures are being taken, and it is all under control. Now, trust me. Relax. Take a breath. One month later, <laughs> everyone, God, it, it's good, it's good, it's, it's under control, you know? <laughs> And some people have even theorized that this was a terrorist attack and the FBI has narrowed it down to three suspects. It was totally that third guy. And now everyone is just out of ideas. I know this because I logged onto YouTube one day and there was a banner on the top of the screen that said something like, Gulf of Mexico oil spill, how would you fix it? And then people could comment their harebrained ideas as to how they would fix the problem. That was when I knew that the brains behind the whole oil spill recovery project were just out of ideas. That was when I knew we were all fucked. And then we see stories in the news that are supposed to comfort us in this whole thing. Like we see stories that Kevin Costner has a water purifying system that could clean up the Gulf of Mexico. And apparently he got this idea when he was pissing in the bottle at the beginning of Waterworld. That's no bullshit. One more contribution that Waterworld has given us. Which comes to a grand total of one contribution. And now we find out that James Cameron was invited in on a brainstorming session among the scientists who were charged with cleaning up this oil spill problem. And I have a tiny question, like something along the lines of what the fuck does James Cameron know about stopping an oil leak and fixing an oil spill? I mean, do you think that decision went down something like this? We need a solution and we need it fast. Get James Cameron on the phone. Well, sir, that might not be the best idea. I mean, what does he really actually know about, you know, oil spills? The man is the director of the abyss. Have you seen the abyss? I have. Still don't know the logic behind it. Something tells me he knows the mysteries of the deep. He's a science fiction director. Emphasis on the fiction. Well, luckily you're not in charge there, red tie man. It makes perfect sense. Okay. Because if I'm going to have someone save the world, let it be the man who directed Piranha 2. Gotcha. He's lost his mind. And some people will be like, well, he does spend a lot of time in the water. Yeah, and this bastard spends a lot of time in women. It does not mean he understands them. So Costner's Brita filter, James Cameron's sit-in session, and a YouTube banner pleading for ideas all leads me to believe that no one knows what to do anymore. I mean, I think it's interesting that we've overshot the mark for greatness. We have split the atom, we have networked the world together, we have cloned living animals, and we have artificially created biological life. But when it comes to stopping an oil leak, I don't know. So I'm not even gonna ask you guys what you guys would do about it, cause shit, I have no idea what I'd do about it. Rub a magic lamp, pray. But if you guys wanna give a harebrained idea that's less harebrained than Costner's Big Brita filter, feel free. Until next time, 